YouTubers is Craver Creole Leo. Uh, finally, at my very first appointment at the Bariatric Clinic with Dr. Gregory Barnes. Just filled out all my paperwork and waiting on basically to go to the back and see what's going to happen, what they're going to say, and how much it's going to cost. Be back. Hey, YouTube. I'm back uh, for a brief second. I just left my first bariatric appointment and so far so good. Uh, weight came in at 331.53. He wants me to lose 30 pounds before surgery and I have a few other things to get done, but I'll talk to you about that in a second. Let me go and get out of here. Bye. Hi YouTube, this is Curvy Creole Leo 86. And yes, I know I changed my name from Imperfect Leo 86. I just felt like doing it. Anyway, uh, this is a continuation video on what happened yesterday because I started recording yesterday before I saw the, doc the doctor and right after I got out of the office. But once I got home, I went straight to sleep and I stayed asleep. Nothing got done yesterday. But uh, anyway, yesterday was my first appointment. It went extremely well. Dr. Barnes is real cool. He's real down to earth. He, I, I didn't feel afraid to ask him anything. I mean, he's not one of those stuck up, you know, strict, no nonsense. Well, he is no nonsense, but no humor. He's not one of those doctors. He even cursed around me. Like, I appreciate that you can cuss around me. Um, <laughs> but he was real, real, real cool. Um, they took my weight yesterday at 331 with a BMI of 58. So, um, once I started talking to the doctor, he asked me what kind of surgery that I want. I told him the full bypass and why I wanted the full bypass. And he was impressed that I knew as much as I knew and how much I had been researching. So, that was all good. Um, he was explaining to me about I need to do something about my iron um, since I'm anemic. Uh, I have sleep apnea, but I don't have a CPAP machine. So, he's trying to get me to get my CPAP machine and be on it for at least one one straight month before the surgery because something about getting my body used to the machine and um I don't want to be like during surgery I'm going to be I'm going to be under so much anesthesia my brain may not be sending sending signals to make me breathe uh and afterwards I'll be you know so I'm not gonna say doped up, but you know, you know, on pain kill, pain killers. My brain may not be signaling me to breathe like I need to. So he wants me to do that. Another thing, he wants me to lose 30 pounds before he operates on me, which is gonna be hard as shit. But I can do it. I just have to cry, bitch, moan about it, but it can be done. Um, I asked him if 200 pounds was like a normal goal weight that I think I could do or stick to he told me big mistake hell no let's start over like your normal weight for your age and your height is 140 pounds in my head I'm like I ain't been 140 pounds since third grade that ain't gonna work so he told me I need to shoot for 140 pounds which yeah I'll shoot for it but I may hit that 200 maybe 190 210 somewhere around now i hit that mark but not no 140 hell that'll make me smaller than my mama and my head is too big to be 140 so um other than that he told me just to try that and we'll talk more as time goes so once i was getting out of the appointment and everything um, oh, and I talked to him more about the resolution of illnesses and stuff like that, the sleep apnea, the reflux, the pseudotumor, the PCOS and all that. And even Jeremy asked him, he was like, um, will this really, really help with pseudotumor cerebri? And he told him, like, well, weight is one of the big factors in pseudotumor cerebri. So this could just about cure it, if not resolve it 95%. So yeah this would be really good for that so that that just further you know made my point about it um so i went outside to the nurse nurse's station and i asked you know about time frame like when could you know my next appointment be or 
when could we possibly be shooting for a surgery day? She said, well, we could be actually going for early January. And of course, I'm like, oh shit, that's not that far from right now. So, oh shit. Depending on how early that is, I may not be able to drink for New Year's. Damn it. Oh. Okay, I'll cry about that later. We'll we'll cry about that later. Um, <laughs> but uh, so far I have another appointment next week, and I have to have a sonogram done, and um, I think it's my first official dietitian appointment, supervised dietitian, and all that. Um, so that's next Friday at eleven, and I'm glad that this is not one of them. How I'm so used to LSU, I come see you, and I'm not going to see you for another few months or at least a month or something down the line. Um, everything's happening pretty fast. So, I got to get ready for it. I've quit smoking again. Yes, again. Uh, I'm trying to incorporate more water into my system. I've decided... Uh, when it comes to snacking, if I don't have any fruit or anything around or some type of vegetable or like green beans, just something small, I told Jeremy last night and correct me if I'm not doing this right, um, I have those, what is like off brand Slim Fast, you know, the Walmart Slim Fast drinks. I would, said I would take two cups of water and drink, you know, just drink that down and then follow it up with one of the Walmart Slim Fast. So I don't have that hunger feeling for a while. And plus the drinks are, uh, they're 190 calories and 10 grams of protein. And I can't remember how much sugar, but it's not high. It's not super high in sugar like you would think. So I was thinking about doing that so I could avoid you know, going to get tacos from across the street or, you know, cooking a whole, whole big meal or something like that and eating a lot of that big meal. So I'm going to try to handle my cravings with water and a meal replacement shake. Basically kind of for my snacks. Uh, but I'm going to get started on a new grocery list for me and, you know, keep the grocery list for the house because I'm going to have to eat the way I need to eat for this to go correctly. Um, other than that, that's really it. It's, he's a nice, it's a nice ass doctor. If you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area and, or you know somebody in the Dallas Fort Worth area and they're thinking about, you know, weight loss surgery, tell them about Gregory Barnes. He is he cooler than a fan. I really can't say much else about it. Um, He's located in Plano off of Preston Road, but he's awesome so far. I like him. I have no issue with him. Um, and he also takes Medicare, and all I have is Medicare, and so far my co-pays have not been very high at all. So, um, so officially, October 7th was my first appointment. My current, my well, my starting weight is 331 my heaviest weight is 366 my first goal weight is 300 pounds because i have to lose 30 pounds before he will ever operate on me um my surgery time frame will be early january 2017 and i'm looking forward to it um other than that i'm finna just do my best to get this 30 pounds off and hell if possible they could do it before 2017 because the uh, nurse told us with Medicare they can basically do surgery on me right now if they wanted to but they try to keep to the norms of how insurance normally does it so but if they wanted to do the uh, surgery like once all of my pre-optive pre operative visits and the psyche veil and the, car the cardiac clearance and all this other stuff. If they wanted to do that after all that stuff was done, and I let's say I got it done early December, and everything's done and over with, they can call me in the surgery in December. So we're gonna try to get everything done. Um, thank y'all for letting me rant 
and rave and talk um, about this because I don't have the support of everybody, you know, doing this. Um, mainly my mother, uh, which I would really love her support more than anybody's, but uh, she'll come around to it. I, I, I have to do this for myself. Um, but yeah, any comments, any tips, any um, suggestions on what I should do, leave them below in the comment box. Um, I add like all my social media info, so if you want to get up with me on social media, you can get up with me and ask questions. Oh, and if you get with me on Facebook, I can add you to some couponing groups and stuff, because I have gotten good at that. Um, but yeah, any anything you need to uh, inform me about, if I have questions, of course, I'm going to ask y'all. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much the end of this video. So, love, peace, blessings, um, hair grease, nachos, all the good stuff uh, to everybody. And I will try to do another video next Friday after my appointment. Um, if not right after, it'll be the day after or something like that. Let y'all know how the second appointment went. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank y'all for listening to me. And y'all have a great rest of your weekend. And I will holler at y'all another time. Bye.